What's going on guys? Uh, thanks for stopping by. Today we're going to rescue the spare motor for my 7.3 Power Stroke. Uh, the guy that I bought the truck from had an extra motor for it and included it in the sale. Unfortunately, when I picked up the truck, it was buried in his barn uh, behind a bunch of other clutter and what have you. Um, so he has called me and said that he's cleaned it all out and the motor's ready to be picked up. So we are going to head over there and pick it up. I think we're just going to put it on a... Uh, on an engine hoist and hopefully be able to lift it into the back of my truck. So I guess we'll find out in a little bit. Welcome to Everything Elliot, where I give everything a try. And while you're here, don't forget to check out some of my other videos. All right, we're at Dave's house, right? Hi, say hi, Dave. Hey. There he is, man of man of many words. Now all we got to do is get it in the truck. Where are you trying to go with it? Oh, I I'll center it out. I see what you're going. Try to kick that over. There we watch. go. All right, up to the 80s. Now we have to do it. I'm young and strapping. All right, good. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Just crank her up. You got a short chain or you want to borrow that one? No, I got one. I'm just going to get it off of my tractor anyway. Yeah. You gonna trade this in on a black mamba? No. Super black mamba? I think I'm gonna build it myself. 150 uh, horsepower injectors. You know how much those cost? 1200 bucks. At least. Yeah. Well, how much is the black mamba motor? Didn't we look? It was like five grand or something? Do they require a core when you? I don't. I don't. I don't think so. Woo! Well, maybe a little higher. Well, well, let's get it a little closer. I don't know what they have here. Yeah, it's gonna go your way. It's gonna go your way. Um, which way does this go? Do you don't remember? I have no idea. Uh, I would imagine just like you got it, slide it in. I would imagine something like that. Go up higher. Higher? Yeah. I guess I'm gonna strap it down. Oh boy, you got you got a we little bucket, ton of oil is coming out of the oil filter housing. And yeah, a little something. All right, motor is loaded up and uh, a couple extra goodies and we're gonna get it home. All right, motor made it home in one piece. Uh, it, was a little, it was a little sketchy, wobbled a little bit, but uh, 
got a bunch of other stuff too. Uh, the tunnel cover, the actual tunnel cover itself, some uh, wheel well trim, and some new steps. There's the turbo back there. Gatorade bottle came free of charge. But uh, yeah, I had to take my hitch out. But here she is, ready to rock and roll. Uh, I am going to opt to use the tractor instead of an engine hoist because I don't feel like doing it with an engine hoist. And the plan is uh, I'm going to use that uh, little engine block holder made out of wood. I'm going to put it on this pallet. That way I can strap it down with those. That's what my motorcycle came off of when I store my motorcycle up in the pallet uh, racking. So I'll set that engine crate on there and I'll be able to move it around with the, uh, with the pellet forks. Now that I got it here, um, I'm going to give it a good washing before I put it away. The belt, grounding strap, coolant hose, the uh, turbo or turbo intake. Let's see. Broken stud. I think what I'll do is I'll remove the uh, wiring harness from it. That way there's no issues. So not much of a wiring harness, but uh, there is one on here. Take this off. Got about a mile of electrical tape on here. Let me go get a knife. Okay, and there's the wiring harness. Not much to it. So what I'm going to do is, um, instead of using these hook points, I have a Oh man, I'm never gonna be able to get that out. Those are Allen heads in there. This one's nice bolts, but these ones are Allen heads. I'll never get that out. Let me look at this load leveler here. I think this motor weighs like a thousand pounds or something. And this load leveler is supposed to hold 1500. So we'll see what happens. I'll hook my chain to here and lift it up with the tractor. Everything seems 
seems to be holding so far. Let's grab some degreaser and we'll spray this whole thing down with degreaser and then we'll get the power washer out. Junk. So if you're going to do this, make sure you try to avoid the uh, openings into the motor. Right now I'm just being careful. When I get the power washer out, I'm going to block off all these holes with gloves or something. Just to keep the water out of it. All right, we'll let that sit for about 15 minutes. I'm gonna clean up my mess and then uh, I'm gonna plug those holes and we'll grab the power washer. it back so all the water comes out of the valley. You can see it leaking out here. That's all the water that's sitting up in there. I'm going to take the nozzle off and just pump a bunch of fresh water into the front of the valley. That way it gets all that soapy, uh, oily water out.
All right, let's try to uh, try to get it on that pallet over there. See what happens. Good enough for me. Well, I think that'll be it for today's video. Uh, the 7.3 is safely on its pallet. And uh, I gotta find somewhere to store it. I don't know where yet. What I might do I think the engine deserves to be inside rather than the tires. So I might pull those tires down that are up there and put the engine up there for now. Um, I'm running out of space fast in the shop. I think it needs to be bigger. I'll strap the motor down. That way it travels safely on the pallet. That'll be about it. Well, thanks for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed. I'm glad I was finally able to get this spare motor. Again, I don't know what I'll do with it, but at least I got it. He said he thinks there's something wrong with the number one cylinder or number one piston. So we'll end up having to take the heads off and get a look at the top of the piston, see what it looks like. But that's a video for another day. Well, thanks for watching and uh, hope you have a great day.